Profit and Loss Part 2. Hi, I'm Daniel Sousa and welcome to Applied Academy. This is Part 2 on Lecture on Profit and Loss. Today, let's look at a type of sum called the at what, then what problem. Now, these are very common in many competitive exams. But before we get to solve them, let's learn a few basics. All right, now to solve these problems, you need to reduce some information from the problem statement. Now, in my previous lecture, I gave you the example of the soap. Right? Now, I bought it, that is cost price, for 100 rupees. Say, uh, let's make it 200 rupees. Right? And I sold it for, say, 180 rupees. Right? This is my SP. Now, what will be my loss? It's quite obvious. It is 20 rupees. Right? 200 minus 180. Now, what will be my loss percentage? Loss percentage will be loss by CP in 200. Right? So, what is my loss? 20 rupees divided by my cost price, 200 rupees into 100. So, it is 0.1 into 100 gives you 10%. Right? 10% loss. Now, at, in these problems, at what then what, they will say that I sold a bar of soap for 180 rupees and I incurred a loss of 10%. So, at what price did I buy my soap? So they will give you 180 rupees at 10% loss. Now, what you should understand is this. Suppose I buy a product, all right, say for X amount of rupees, right? If I sell it at 100% of my cost price, I will neither get a profit nor a loss. If I sell it for 110% of my cost price, I will get a profit of 10%, right? Extra 10%. If I sell it at 90% of my cost price, I will have 10% loss, right? Now, if they're saying that 180 rupees, I've sold it at 180 rupees and I've got 10% loss, doesn't that mean that this is 90% of the cost price? Exactly. So what you do is to get the cost price, divide this value upon 90%. So what you take is 180 rupees divided by 90% or 0.9. If you divide this, you will get 200, which is your cost price. So in general, if your cost price is 100%, now let's see the different scenarios where your selling price will vary. Now, if selling price is 100% of the cost price, and it's the same thing, you will have no profit, no loss, right? Because you're selling a product for the same price what you bought it. So there's no profit, no loss. Now, if your selling price was 125% of your cost price, that means you're selling it for a higher price, right? So you will have the difference 125 minus 100, so 25% profit. Similarly, now here you're selling it for 80% of the cost price value, right? So it is a decreased amount. So you will have the difference 20% loss. All right, let's add a first sum. Problem one. A person incurs 5% loss by selling a watch for Rs. 1140. At what price should the watch be sold to earn 5% profit? Alright, so in the first sum they said that a person incurred a loss of 5% by selling a product for Rs. 1140. Now, at what price should he sell it to get a profit of 5%? Now, they've said that he has sold his product for Rs. 1140 at 5% loss. Now, first of all, it's loss. So that means your selling price is obviously lesser than your cost price. And they've told you by how much percent it is lesser. So you have everything here. Now they said that your SP, right, is lesser than your CP, such that there is a 5% loss. So then it's obvious that your SP will be 95% of your cost price. This should be quite obvious to you. Right? This is the only thing you need to understand from the statement. That's all. Right now, your selling price is 95% of your cost price. So basically, they're telling you that if 1140, right, your selling price, you sold it, is 95%, right, or we can say 0.95, then X is 1.0 or 100%. So what is X? So if you cross multiply X into 0.95, is equal to 1140 into 1. That's obvious. So now x will be 1140 divided by 0 0.95. 
Now I can shift the decimal point by two places and add two zeros. So I shall do exactly that. So zero, zero. Now five ones are four. So nines are uh, five hundreds are uh, twenty-two. 110, 4 ticks over here, so 2000, uh, 22,800. Then if I further cancel, it will come out to be 1200, right? So this was your cost price. Now, if you just understand it, if you take 5% of this, it will be how much? 60. So 60 rupees if you minus, you will get 1140. So that's why he's, he bought the product at 1200 rupees. He sold it at 1140. That's how he got a loss of 5%. Now it's very easy. Now you got your cost price. Half the problem is done. Now, at what price should he sell the product to get a profit of 5%? Now, profit of 5%, that means he has to add 5% to his selling price. So now, he has to sell it at 105% of the cost price. Right? So the extra 5% is your profit. Now, just find what is 5% of this. What is 5% of this? 60 rupees. Right? So add 60 to this. That's all. So 1, 2, 0, 0 plus 60. So one, two, six, zero. So this is the answer. If he sells a product at 1,260 rupees, he will now get a profit of 5%. Easy, right? Problem two, a book was sold for 27 rupees 50 paise with a profit of 10%. If it was sold for 25 rupees 75 paise, then what would have been the percentage of profit or loss? All right, now for the second problem, they said that a book is sold for 27 rupees 50 paise with 10% profit. Now, if the selling price was 25 rupees 75 paise, then what would be the profit percentage or loss percentage? Now, let us see. They told you that book is sold for 27 rupees 50 paise with 10% profit. That means selling price is greater than cost price. This is the first thing you write down. Okay. Now, what you have to do is they've given you the selling price, right? Sold for. So selling price is given you. They've given you how much percent profit you've got. And they told you to find, okay, we'll, we'll come to this later on. Now, first thing you do is you find the cost price. So now, how do you find the cost price? First, uh, they said that the profit percentage, profit percentage is equal to 10%, right? Now, understand this. If your selling price has a profit of 10%, that means it is 110% of your cost price. This you should be able to write down. Now. If you know that your selling price is 110% of cost price, that means cost price is equal to SP by 110%, right? Quite simple. So what you can do is your cost price will be SP 27.5 divided by 1.1. 1.1 is 110%. Like how 1 is 100%, 0 0.9 is 90%, 1.1 is 110%. Right? Let's just keep this aside. Now, if you remove one one decimal point, it becomes 275 by 11. Now, 275 by 11 is easy. It is 25. All right, so your cost price is 25. Now, they said that if your selling price is 25 rupees 75 paise, then what is the profit percentage or loss percentage? Now, right off the bat, you know that your cost price is 25 rupees. And selling price is 25 rupees 75 paise. So your SP is greater than CP. Definitely profit. So now, what is profit percentage? It is SP minus CP upon always on the cost price. Cost price is 25 into 100%. So, what is SP? 25.75 minus CP is 25 upon 25 into 100 so this will give you 0.75 upon 25 into 100 if you solve this out it comes out to be 3 percent so now if you sell the book at 25 rupees 75 paise then you will get a 3 percent profit percentage easy let's go to problem number three problem three the percentage profit earned by selling an article for Rs. 1920 is equal to the percentage loss incurred by selling the same article for Rs. 1280. At what price should the article be sold to make 25% profit? Alright, the problem number 3 is very interesting. Look at this. They said that 
if I sell the product at 1920 rupees, the profit percentage will be the same as a loss percentage if I sell it for 1280 rupees. Right? Now, we'll look at the second part of it afterwards. Now, what I'm saying is explained by this. Suppose um, my bar of soap, right, it costs rupees 100. Now, if I sell it for a price that is more than this, right, 110%, uh, 110 rupees, then I will have a profit and hence a profit percentage, right? So, this has to be more than the cost price. If I sell it at 90 rupees, then I will have a loss and hence a loss percentage, right? Now, the same thing can be explained like this. Suppose on my number line, right, it's all positive quantities. If the cost, if the price of my article for what I bought it, right, my cost price is say X. If I sell it for any price more than this, I will get a profit, right? If I sell it for anything less than this, I will get a loss. Now, what are they saying here is that they've given you two quantities. They've said a profit percentage for rupees 1920. So we know that it lies on the right hand side of the cost price. So let's say it lies here, 1920. And they've said loss percentage for 1280. So it lies on the left hand side. So let's say this thing is 1280. Now they've said that the amount of profit, that is profit percentage, and the amount of loss percentage will be the same. So this and this is exactly the same. Right? Now we need to find this thing. Then we can move on to the second part. Now, but we already know that both of these distances are equal. So what we'll do is we'll assign this as some y. Now to reach x, we can either add y by 2 to this or minus y by 2 from this. Right? This whole thing is y. It's made up by half y, half y. Right? Now, how do we find y? 1920 minus 1280. 0, 0 here, this is 4, this is uh, 3, 6, 0. So this is 640. 640 is y. So what is y by 2? What is half y? y by 2, this is y. This is y. So y by 2 will be 640 by 2. That is 320. So now you either add 320 to 1280 or you minus 320 from 1920. Anything. We just add it here. So if you add 320 to 1280, you will get 1600. 1600 is your cost price. So 1600 is your cost price. This is the first part of the sub. Now it gets very easy. All right. So I'll just run the sub. Right. So your cost price. It is now 1600. Now you don't have to worry about the setup. Now they're asking you, at what price should the product be sold if I want a 25% profit percentage? Right? Now, find out what is 25% of 1600. Now you already have formulas for this, but I don't like to use the formulas. If you understand the basic concept, you don't need formulas at all. All right? Now, what is 5% of this? What is 1% of this? 1% of this will be 16. Right? What is 5% of this? 5% will be into 5. So 30, 80. So this is 5%. Right? Now, to reach 25, I need to multiply this by 5 again. So 80 into 5 will be 400. So this is 25%. Now, if I want 25% profit percentage, I will have to increase my selling price by this much. So now, my selling price will be the cost price plus this profit, what I want. So, 2000. This is the answer. Alright, so this was part 2 on lecture on profit and loss, where we saw a new type of problems, at what, then what. And we saw three different type of problems. If you found this lecture helpful, do subscribe to my channel and share this on Facebook. Spread the knowledge. Cheers. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel to get access to many more aptitude videos. Cheers.